I don't know, I don't watch that nonsense like you. <laughs> Got a bit, bit of terrain to negotiate. Should be easy actually. It's just like natural steps. But we're basically, I don't know if you can see the town right down there, that's where we've come from. Right in that valley. That's where we've come from. Love, keep your feet or kill you. One of the two. Right, let's try and get this bit done. I see I can do a bit one handed. Film a bit. At least you'll see me falling over, which is highly likely I'm good at that. Look at that, like a mountain goat. Then he breaks his neck. Finally at the top. We're in the clouds lot. Literally in the clouds. So yeah, I've been up here before, but there's a little bit I missed. Oh, well, maybe a big bit. Matthew's never been up here before. So he has no clue what's gonna go on. He's about to find out. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing now. He's walked back the other way. He'll be up to summit. Anyway, I'll wait for him. Then we'll go in these buildings and walk through. I can't read. I'm having a photo shoot. <laughs> Cozy, nearly out of the wind. Old slate chopper look. So that rotates and that blade comes around. Off, off with your fingers. <laughs> oh, loom. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but like, because we were on the clouds, you can, now and again, you can see a wisp of them blowing through the buildings. It'd be a scrap man's dream up here, wouldn't it? No light iron up here. It's all heavy. Oh, it's just crazy, isn't it? Uh, the, the, the the noise that would have been in here when this was in full swing would have been immense. All oh, this lot spinning around, smashing slate up and doing whatever it does. Once you can see the cloud wisping through. Mad. tank over here still got the lines still see the lines coming in where they bring all the slate in and out all the pulley system all the way through the building operating all the machines i'll only be brief on this bit so i've done this bit before but just in case you ain't seen it the old compressor lot the tank That'll shift some air. 
some of that motor. You are? Yeah. If you if you can get it back to the van, you can have it. <laughs> Bit of compressor. Let's have a look at this engine. Or is it just a motor? A pump. It's a boat driven pump, isn't it? Oh no. That's like that's a gearbox. It's not an engine, that's a gearbox. Tell me if I'm wrong. That actually looks like an old gearbox out of a car. That's where the clutch would be, look. That's like an old Morris gearbox or something. Why did I see that last? I probably did see it, I don't know. That's what I'd say that is. Tell me in the comments. If you think that's a gearbox, just a gearbox out of a car or something, or something agricultural, I don't know. So this this is probably where your gear stick would have been. Coming out of here. And a ball socket in there, hitting the selectors. Cool. It's the barrel for the last picket line. Get your fire going. For the minor strike. <laughs> He's loving it in here, look. He's having a right nut at himself. <laughs> He's, lo He's looking for part numbers, I reckon. <laughs> I know he'd like it. He might not like the last bit. Clouds definitely dropped down now since we came in here. Look how foggy it is in here. I wanted to get the drone up, but it's quite windy up here. I'll have to see what it's like. Hey? To stop idiots like us going any further. Why? It's the, because they're just spoiling the fun, I guess. Yeah. Hey? You go walk up, there's a few more machines in that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no rush. Got your head torch if it gets dark. There's a belt. More of the chopping machines, look. So this, I think this would have sized the slate, so you would have bits like this for the roofing slates. In here, bang, chops them to size. So that's constantly spinning, what a machine. The old Alpha and Safety would have a baby in here now, wouldn't they? They'd probably, probably shut the place down. Stop, stop, everybody stop. So this would have been your own little area, look, I guess. This would have been Bob's machine, and this would have been his little workbenches, where he'd sit to have his sandwiches and read his boring newspaper. All the rubbish that's going on in the world. So this would have been Bob's little area. They probably would have had little competitions. How many of you cooked today, Bob? <laughs> Not many. I've got a bad back. <laughs> uh, I guess they'd stack so many up on this conveyor belt that runs all the way down. Look, and up there and outside they went. Unless this was bringing the raw material. Well, the the biggest cuts. 
I don't know. But probably this belt was just trundling away. And if uh, Harry down there, Mr. Stack, Bob here would grab it. I don't know, I'm not quite sure how it would work. Unless they're bringing the bigger cuts in there, cutting them here, onto the belt and out. Possibly. Literally the same machine all the way down this huge workshop. Every bay, the same machine. How many people lost the tips off the fingers, I wonder? There's got to have been some. Got to have been some. I would have thought. bit of a fire in there some of the windings up there for the belts I think one of these is where the huge wheel would have been the water wheel so they uh, introduced electricity and run it all on massive electric motors so yeah one of these was a water wheel I'm sure of it probably not that one might be the next one. Could it? Oh, it might have been that one. I saw the polys come out of there. Yeah, it could have been that one. So they would have had a huge, tr like, runway of water, like troughs coming in where the water cascades down and falls onto the wheel and probably went out underground. So my guess this is the uh, sort of the start of the shop where the big pieces come in onto these big cutting tables look and these would have possibly had a big saw blade in them there you go look we had a big saw blade there cutting them up starting to reduce the sizes and I'll say these tracks run all the way down the shop that's it these that's it, these are at the front of these little bays, look. Supplying the bigger bits into this end by the look of it. And when the cut pieces are done, out on that belt. That is just my guess. There's a, weird, there's a weirdo down there, look. <laughs> Another one. You lost, you lost your boot? I know what the real for. <laughs> it's a man calling me. I know what these are real for. They're for chopping all the slate. They strip, no, these are fucking arms. They strip the copper out of them. The, the what? These mods. Oh, the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The look, you can see it's all gone. Yeah, they've pulled all the copper out. You can see that there's been it at it here. Yeah. Nothing safe, is it? Oh, see, I like the old stuff. Well, you can see the seam on the belt on these conveyor belts. Yeah. Look, there's a brand new conveyor belt over there. Is it? Well, not brand new like it was built yesterday, but a new one I haven't even seen. Look, a loom belt. And if that snapped, it'd probably kill you. They used to whip round and kill people all the time. Not say all the time, but every day. These belts going that fast. Is that just a broker? Oh, it's just a broker, but I was looking at it as the end. I yeah. want to see the zipper end where they put the pin in. Yeah. Right, back in another building. This would have been the path to power the place up. All the insulators there, look. All the cables would have come in. <laughs> Do 
to me, this would have been scarier working in here. It's a bit dark. Did you bomb boats? Are these are these the breadcrumbs? Yeah, yeah. How do the switch? How do you switch them? Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, it's on a handle now, I see. Now helmet. <laughs> uh, it's a weird all this shit that these people designed, and then someone designed Twitter. Just oh. how, how it's all open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bars, the connector bars are just all open. It's mad, isn't it? Power on. Oh, broke it. it. Yeah, you see, <laughs> that's, why need, that's why I need someone knows what to do. They've <laughs> got the big hoist look that the pikey bastards probably used to get the copper out. <laughs> the size of their motors that went in there. Yeah, beasts, are they? Do you, do, you, do you reckon this is the generator room and these are the, do you reckon these are the turf, no, the generators, there's a water wheel at one end? A what? Don't know. I'm afraid of our ghost. This is not that fucking thing you watch. You want to go and look at abandoned stuff? <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah. Wait, we're them people. We're exactly. Because they don't say anything. No, that's for a good thing. <gasps> Look, there's a switch there. Switch it. Where? This switch one? Switch it. Yeah, that's not. Oh, yes. God, I got it. Yeah, we got it. Are you using your dodgy arm? Craig's got a dodgy No, no. Oh, it says on. It says on. On and off. Look, I turned it on. Because I'm a genius. Let's turn on inside. It's all stuck in the bits. That wood is good. Oh, this wood is good, isn't it? Is it? Insulator. Is it bake light? There we go, we got the headlamp on. Okay. So I got my headlamp on now. In the storerooms. Let's go back around here. The office desk is still here. There's a, a BT phone line lock. <laughs> so that, that's got, that's got to be eighties, hasn't it? Nineties. Nah, it's got to be 90s, isn't it? We've been, we've been on about uh, when this place closed. We're not sure. I wonder what these would have been for, look. All going up at an angle. It's obviously for something. Dodgy ladders up the wall, maybe. That's what Matt said. <laughs> I just had a little swing on the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did my back in a bit, yeah. Uh, and it took your weight? Yeah, yeah. Cheeky bastard. Yeah? yeah. That's, that's a surprise. Why? Well, it's jammed. It's only a ton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's done as well, unfortunately. Yeah. Right, just popping back in here. It seems you won't move. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, oh, it seized. That's uh, I stuck the light. It's a shame because I've loved someone. I've loved that rust is a bloody good welder. Mm. <laughs> right, it's good again. Stuck the same shit. Right, let's pop back in here. Look at this. Dave, 1978. Suzuki GT250. Status quo. 1978. I was eight. He was still swimming. Oh, 
wasn't even swimming. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, aren't you? <laughs> 1978. Uh, <laughs> my dad was 19. Was he? Yeah. So, he, he, he was married to the other woman. <laughs> the other woman? The other woman. Oh, my God. Barry, 1988. Oh, I was alive then. Just. That's three. Spare tea bag hanging up. Your emergency tea bag. <laughs> Pack of ten Lambert and Butler. I love this job, hey. What? If you love this thing in here, that's awesome. It's beautiful, that is. Isn't it? If I could lift that, yeah, it's down, that'd it? make a brilliant cupboard, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Especially with these bits. Leave these bits on. Yeah. It's isolated. It is. It's, 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 everything, everything back then was made pretty. Yeah, we had everything. This, because it was, your, it was your business, it was your brand. It was your brand. Now that would be just a press folded tin box. Yeah, it's lovely. Like that old cast. I do love it. Lovely shapes. It's even part of the door. The door's still yeah. a bit of it. Look. Like, Everything it? was made lovely. No matter what it was. Instead of this shit, you look. To your, to your it had, you. Instead of that. Yeah, that's that's what you get. As time went on, that was it. <laughs> you got apple stickers. My dad's toolbox is covered in them. Uh, Every day he put an apple sticker on his wood. Just in case you didn't know. That's the cooker. So it's a cocker. <laughs> Sink. Oh, look. It's an engine mount off a Harley Davidson. Hey, it is. <laughs> it's a bit small. <laughs> what? <laughs> is, um, these are Harley Davidson brakes. Yes, they are. They're shit, Jesus. Hey, up. That, is that a tough off a cutting machine, like a mining machine or something? Hey, you, normal people call it a tooth. But yes, it's a tooth. They're normally rock hard, aren't they? Come in. Do you want to find? It's never going to happen, but I want to find an hammer. An hammer? I'd love to find an old, old, old. Uh, you, you might. You might just find one in the next building. I'd love to find an hammer, like an old. Yeah, then clean it up. Dirty Welsh hammer. There's some of them in town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can sort your grease gun out. Yeah, you, the, you might you might be in with a chance in the next building. A souvenir and ammo. Yeah. What's in the ammo box? I don't know. I don't know. Might be an ammo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a dead pigeon. Yeah. No, it's not even that. It's nothing. It's worth it. Doing for a dead pigeon about right. right. Let's go and do another building. Oh, grease gun. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the old grease gun. Yeah, go out this way. Don't fall down the pit. Oh god, yeah. I mean, it like singed metal. I'd have that scary drone going on. Uh, <laughs> you can't hear what direction it's coming from. Like, oh, that's yeah. All electricity. That's what that is. They have plates. They're all joined, aren't they? Yeah. Insulator, they look like the things that were used for welding the what is it together? The buttons. You were saying that we thought that the well the track yeah 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 conveyor belt welder got potential. Is that loose? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, for looks. This is what I'm here for. This is what I'm here for. Look. This is it. This is what I wanted. Don't know what that shit is. Well that's but, that's sixties, seventies, isn't it? This is what I wanted. <laughs> Electrolux Uber. This is what I wanted. With a mouse, we with a mouse we nest. We might as well leave. Well, they're not <laughs> having a camera all this way to see that.
Find him an hammer. <laughs> a few bits under there. Oh, what's in here? I haven't been in this bit. Oh, that wind's picking up. going on in here right uh, uh, this ain't gone to plan because the next bit that we were supposed to do is there see that big mound of spoil that was an opening that took you through to another bit with another building and down into a mine. I get it, I get it, I guess, you know, it, they can be, they are dangerous. They, yeah, they're dangerous, simple as that. But yeah, we can't do it. They've shut it off. There's absolutely no, no other way in, unless we had abseiling equipment and went up there and abseiled in, and then, nah, it's not happening. Oh, gutted. Gutted. I'll never get to finish that other bit of that place. Damn. What's down here though? I've just seen something else. What's down here? Lamp on. Oh, that is totally flooded. There's another wall down there. It's blocked off. That looks deep. That looks really deep. Damn it. Gutted. It probably wouldn't go to the place I needed to go. I think there was another tunnel, but it was just really short. It came to an end. That might have been this one. I have been down one. I think that might have been this one, actually. I don't know. No, it ain't happening. Done. It doesn't go to the place I wanted to go. Well, I'll just come round the back of the place, just see if we can just see, see if we can see in. I don't think there'll be another way in. It'd be too much of a drop, but I'm going to go at the top of this here and have a look. You can get in. You can get in. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll just come in this little bit. Oh, look down there. Cut. Oh, that's close enough. I can't even see the bottom. Yeah, back out of there. Right, we've uh, 
we, we, we've, come to, we've come to a sensible decision, which makes a pleasant change, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all fresh as well, because a lot of that spilt off. Yeah. So that there is the only way in. And I'm about sounding like a crying off. If I start to slip, I cannot stop myself with my shoulder. No chance. And if you come down that there, you're going over there. And then it's a little meeting with the undertaker. So. Well, it's not just that, you go down with all them sharp shards of rock. Yeah. <laughs> that wall, it's got a visible parting down there and it's leaning towards us. You probably can't see that on film, but it's leaning towards us. It looks like it's slowly giving up. I bet if you come up here sometime in the near future, that'll probably be gone down there. Now, if we had some rope, <laughs> I might risk it. No, if we had rope, I would risk it. Yeah. But, uh, I'm going to put off dying today and turn around and walk back that way. Again, it's a sad day for Craig. Slightly disappointing because I don't, I don't know if you can see it in the shot. I'll try and zoom in on the editing bit. There's a pumpkin down there. See a little orange splodge? GoPro no zoom. <laughs> There's a pumpkin. I get some get some views of had an Halloween party down here. Brilliant. That would be awesome. Why not? I know. So yeah, you've probably seen a previous video way, way, way back before I started this channel on the other channel. Me and Gertrude went down there, down that dark bit, and there was other levels that we didn't get to, which I was planning to have a look at today. But it's not to be. Gone all sensible. What's going wrong? So back out we go. Maybe, maybe come back with some rope and do it. Don't stand on this. Don't stand on what? On that. Why? I don't know if that's a bit, that's not a bit of deck card, I know it's not, but I don't know what that is, and there's an hole in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stand on it, you'll go down a, a sinkhole. Yeah, that is visibly sinking though. Yeah, that's all, well, I think all of it is. Oh, the whole, the whole place is doomed, but yeah. still explorable. I've got to spot it a little bit, but I, I get it, okay. For all we know, they could have had someone that's been seriously hurt down here, that's why the and they're about to off. fish them out. That's why they blanked it off. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly, we don't know, do we? Well, there is. this is a brand new fence in here. Well, the, one time I bumped into a cave rescue guy yeah. at one of these places, the other side. And he, I was asking him questions. I said, do, do you have to sort of go and rescue a, a, a few people? And he was like, you won't believe how much we are out getting people out of mines that are lost down there or they've injured themselves it's this is, constant this is brand new this hasn't been here oh yeah i've never seen that before so yeah people do get into trouble i guess yeah oh not yet not yet all right ian you could have walked ah oh, they've left a <laughs> gate in there that's kind of them isn't it i'll use that this is easy to get up as well yeah so, yeah, it's not to be. Never mind. We'll find something next time. We've had a look through the buildings. <sighs> We're going back down. I can't hear you. That wind's brutal. Woo. At least that ain't raining. What's up? Huh? What's up? How did 
just scream at the camera, don't worry about it. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit, a bit windy. I mean, I won't be able to hear shit. Yeah. There we go. See the cloud rolling in. Literally right on the cloud line. Look over here. Down into the valleys. Yeah, you're getting some really good gusts of wind. It's a bit biting. All right, though. It looks nice down there. So no doubt it's just brightened up compared to back there. We didn't drop that much, and it's like twice as bright. I thought you could see all of a sudden. Yeah. Tea break. Oh, tea boys on it. <laughs> We've stopped. As you can see, it's overpopulated here. <laughs> There's two people. <laughs> yeah. Slow drive home, basically. The good bit was, uh, as you've seen, filled in, blocked off. What is that? Oh, I found your dinner. No. No. Is that Bentley again being filmed? That's twice they've been by, so I'm filming a Bentley. Uh, no, it's a Badger. Oh, really? Yeah. Aww. With his innards hanging out. Hey, you like that one, you can stroke it. Yeah, I ain't going near it. I can, I've just had a whiff of it. Hey, right, you're alright. <laughs> he's obviously been walloped by a car and he's managed to get up this bit and drop dead. Was it really? Probably. And then some creatures had it started to get, get its innards out. Probably a crow or something. Crow's starting to pull his insides out for a hole. It is a young one, isn't it? Hey? I don't know. Baby badgers. Tell you what, it's supposed to be getting warmer and it ain't. <laughs> I know. It's a bit nip. It's a bit nip up here. Woo! Get the old hood up. It's freezing. Nice spot. Nice spot for a brew. Yeah. So we can get down here without slipping down, slipping over now. Oh. Don't have any much. Warm them hands up. Good elf. <laughs> I can hear that. I can, is it a goose? Oh, I can hear him. <laughs> I 
I'm walking across a swamp with me cup of tea. Yeah, I am. I'm picking the right route. It's a bit sinky. I'm going to this tree. There's a Christmas tree over here. Because I can see some red in it. There's something red in the Christmas tree. What's that? <laughs> What's going on here? It's a flower! Hey, oh, incoming! Where are they having it? There's, there's a pond there. I can't hear you. Anyway, what do you reckon that is? Do you reckon, uh, do you reckon someone's planted that? It might have been a road accident or something, but it's a bit off the road. Strange. A Christmas tree lot in the middle of nowhere. Some geese, Canadian geese, and a Christmas tree. And two idiots in a white van. Anyway, let me work my way back. Oh, here they are. Here they are filming that Bentley again. Oh, he's in the boot this time. I don't know if you see it with my GoPro zoom. He's filming it out of the boot this time. He's thinking he's a bloke in the middle of a field with a cup of tea. That's obviously a new Bentley. Uh, we'll be on Top Gear or something. Is it Top Gear? National Tour? What is it? Grand, Grand Tour? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, see if we can get back without sinking. There's some random things you see when you're out and about. You just got to get off the sofa and get out there. It's brilliant. We had a great time. Not that we've seen, uh, we got to the bit that we wanted to get to, but we still, uh, still had an awesome time, awesome couple of days. Beautiful here. Look at that. Look at it. Lovely. Is that gobbling away to his camera now? In the highs and in the lows, mountain tops and seas below, I know we'll always find a way home.
asshole.